This summer, I worked in the Quantum and Molecular Photonics Laboratory at ENS Paris Kishan. I worked on the direct laser writing of metallic nanostructures and applications to data storage and color nanoprinting. Direct laser writing, or DLW for short, is the process of focusing a laser beam to realize microstructures. Typically, this technique is used to fabricate sub-micrometer 2D and 3D polymeric structures, but recently the LPQM lab demonstrated that the DLW technique can be used to create metallic nanostructures. In this case, an induced local hotspot is formed on a thin layer of metal which causes the de-wetting effect to occur and nanoparticles of size on the order of tens of nanometers are formed. When a light beam illuminates the metallic nanoparticles, the nanoparticles display plasmonic effect. This means that the light interacts with free electrons of the nanoparticles to create induced resonant dipoles. These induced resonant dipoles cause the absorption of light at a specific wavelength called the plasmonic resonance, which causes the nanoparticles to appear with a specific color. The absorption spectra of the nanoparticles are dependent on the average size of the nanoparticles, so by changing the average size of them, we are able to shift the absorption spectra and tune the color of the light that we see when looking at the nanoparticles. In practice, by changing the exposure dose, which is the combination of the laser power and the scanning speed, we are able to change the size of the nanoparticles and thus the color. Using this idea, I explored a wide range of parameters on thin films of gold, silver, and mixtures of gold and silver to realize structures such as letters and images of different colors. To start my project, I confirmed results from past research using low-density 12 nanometer gold, and then I went on to test if high-density gold, high-density silver, and variable-density mixtures of gold and silver can be utilized to create structures with tunable colors. I found that tunable colors were achievable with gold and silver, but not so much with mixtures of gold and silver. However, the use of mixtures of gold and silver in real-world applications is a possibility after more testing and further understanding of their optical properties. I would like to thank the Quantum and Molecular Photonics Laboratory, ENS Paris Kishan, the University of Michigan, and the National Science Foundation for their contribution and support of this research. Thank you for watching.